It feels like we just got one step closer to a final outcome for the XRP SEC case. What does that mean? Well, remedies filed undercover and behind closed doors. But it's going to be soon we find out exactly what's in it. Let's break it all down for you in this video. So what's going to be? Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you stay up to date with everything going on in cryptocurrency and you want to get the latest and breakest news when it comes to XRP. Well, here is the Court Listener webpage. This is ultimately the Securities and Exchange Commission versus Ripple Labs, the one that we've all been waiting for. You can see assigned to Judge Annalisa Nadine Torres, referred to Sarah Netburn, and the citation is Securities and Exchange Commission versus Ripple Labs, filed December 22nd, 2020. Pretty crazy. So just earlier on we were actually in my twitter live space that we do every friday night we started to get these dropping these court document numbers 943 44 45 46 and 47 all around declarations of a certain motion what does this mean well the first one we got was ultimately this march 22nd selected parties motion for judgment and remedies document filed by the securities and exchange commission bradley garlinghouse christopher a larson ripple labs motion or order to file under seal 942 now ultimately this this seal was done March 20th. It says here, order granting 941. Letter motion to seal, granted so ordered. Ultimately, Judge Annalisa Torres basically giving the opportunity for all these to be sealed and signed behind closed doors. Now, whether we will get access to that is yet to be seen, but there is a number of these particularly related to this court case that have been filed under that motion. You see there. So the first one that came out, 943, 944, selected parties memorandum of law in support of 943, motion of judgment and remedies document filed by the Securities and Exchange Commission, Brad and Christian Larson, motion or order to file under seal 942. Then we have all of of these exhibits so these are all part of the court case again in the ripple versus sec case so these are all things that are going to be filed under that motion under 943 which is obviously the sealed remedies and judgment documents we then saw further actions around andrea fox in support of motion 943 and finally the last one that was put 947 which is the document filed by security and exchange commission in the motion order to file under seal 942 around the proposed judgment so a lot of people speculating is this a settlement we already know that there was discussions going on in the background is this the moment we've been waiting for now there are some key dates remember it's all been pushed back to may when we might finally get the resolution but james k Finland here given his view he says xrp community the sec has filed under seal its opening remedies related brief and supporting documents these documents are not public yet public redacted versions will be filed no later than tuesday march 26 so a few days for that that will ultimately have certain elements that have been removed they'll have certain elements of censorship before it comes out to the public so a little bit of a false start but it feels like we're moving in the right direction it feels like we're finally getting to a point where we could start to see some of these now eventually these will be open for people to look at scrutinize and ultimately see what's put underneath it but we saw brad garlinghouse talking about you know the case ultimately giving his view and more importantly giving his view on you know judge uh Annalisa torres and more importantly the sec and i quote here from march 21st says the sec pick fights with the industry and is losing badly in the courts they now fight in the fellow regulators like the ctfc and failing behind international counterparts at what point will the sec realize they will lose the war against eth just as they launched against xrp and certainly therefore is an interesting narrative is that brad's way of saying that they've already agreed they've already settled or more importantly what the sec have is nonsense and we could absolutely see that and what he's referring to is obviously this the ripple ceo predicts an sec inevitable defeat in ether security saga we know that now finally uh, gary gensler and his cronies have decided to go after ethereum and class it as a security are they going to win probably not we already know that in the hinman documents they ultimately classed and were quoted by saying Ethereum and Bitcoin are not security. So very interesting to see this. Again, we already know that the Coinbase case is going on. A lot of people speculate that one has been done as well. So we'll have to see what happens. However, in the turmoil that's been the last 24 hours in crypto, we see Bitcoin 63,600 and XRP holding 6107. This could be about to change if we can get some of this information out of these redacted documents and the opening briefings that we've got. Worst case, we're about seven weeks away i think from finding out finally what is going on with this case my prediction i'm incredibly bullish for an xrp win and i think we're going to see a one dollar xrp potentially not long after the halving and i think it could even ignite 
the bull market. A lot of people follow that sentiment. A lot of people are in that world as well. So you look at the macro side of things when it comes to XRP, still holding very nicely on that 50-day exponential moving average. A lot of bearishness sentiment though. RSI in the middle, MACD is still very bearish as well. So lots downtrending, but when you look at Bitcoin, it's not a surprise. Bitcoin in a downward moment as well as the MACD as well. So the overall cryptocurrency market, well, it's having a cool off. It's having a probably over over anticipated market cool off. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but lots of things happening with XRP. I think we're about to see something pretty historic. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, I appreciate you guys watching the video, tuning in, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. And if you want to see more crypto content like this, drop a comment down below. Let me know you're in the XRP army. As ever, thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.